Hey, what's up? It's Andy Fogarty from theathomewelder.com and I'm here for kingmetals.com. And today in our Back to Basics welding series, we're going to go over how to plug weld. Now this is an excellent way for you to be able to hide welds. It's very popular in the auto industry when working with sheet metal and car bodies, but I'm going to show you how you can use it with your ornamental welding to hide those welds that you don't want to see or to make it look like they just haven't even been welded. So we're going to get into that right now. Okay, so basically what plug welding is, is we're joining two pieces of metal and we're just going to fill in the holes with the weld. That's basically what plug welding is. You're, you're, you're plugging up the hole. So this way, this is if I wanted to join these two pieces and I didn't want there to be any sort of weld at all showing. So this way I can grind off the weld once I have filled in this hole and it'll look beautiful and seamless. So you can see why this is used a lot in auto body stuff. So what I have here is I have two pieces of scrap for our demonstration and what I've done is I've drilled three holes in here. Uh, these are about quarter inch size holes. Um, usually you're going to have holes about this size. If you go too small, uh, you're not, the, the well's just not going to be big enough to hold. Because remember, we're, we're not going to be blowing through to the other side. We're going to be going in just enough to get a good uh, good penetration but not blow through because that's the point is we're hiding this weld and we don't want to have to do anything on this side. So we're going to clamp these two together and we're going to fill in the hole but we're not just going to blast the hole. We're actually going to sort of go in a circular pattern and move our way out pushing the weld pad puddle out over the lip. So I'll show you Okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this middle hole here and I'm going to start my pool right here in the center. I'm going to start right here in the center and as soon as I see it get hot enough, I'm going to start going in just a little circle, kind of spiral out and covering up over those lips. There you go. You see how fast that was? Pretty fast. Now I can actually probably turn my speed down just a little bit. I heard a little bit of a popping. That's a little bit too much. And that's because I didn't adjust my settings uh, before I started working on this. I was working on some thin stuff before and just assumed it would be okay. But you can see it's still a good well. We filled up and you can see here that we've gone, we've penetrated an enough, just enough to get a really good bond, but not too much to where we actually distorted the metal on this side, which is exactly what we want. So now what I can do is I can finish these welds and we'll come through with our flat disc and just grind that off and make it smooth. For this episode I hope that answers your questions and I hope that makes things a lot easier for you in the future now if you have any questions about anything at all that has to do with welding design anything like that please feel free to ask them in the comments below and we will try to answer them as soon as we can in an upcoming episode now if you want more great tips and tricks like this come on over to the athomewelder.com sign up for MIG welding 101 it's going to give you the five basic cornerstone techniques of MIG welding but more than that, it's going to sign you up for weekly tips and tricks on how to speed up the process, make things a lot easier for you, and also how to make some good money doing this welding stuff on the side. It's a lot of fun and a great way to get paid. So I'm Andy Fogarty, and I will see you again next time.